So people, some people will we'll see people coming in now. But we'll awesome. wait. What did you do? Me name myself. Hi, Tammy, how are you? Hi. There we go. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. A bit exhausted, but I'm fine. How are you two? I'm sure Maddie I'm feels the same way. <laughs> <laughs> have you been so, participating all today and yesterday or? Yes, I have. Well First done. Congress, I'm joining and I'm impressed and really happy to be here. So thank you for organizing it. And well done. Well done. Uh, so yeah, you can, you've got your video and microphone Other people will be coming in. You can choose to have your video or mic on. You don't have to have them either. It's up to you. Um, but for this session, you can. Um, and Natalie will be doing the yoga. Me? Yes, I will be doing it. This woman here. I'll just wait for a couple more people jump in and then I'll give a little bit of the lay of the land so they know um, how to position themselves. So as you're coming in, welcome. You, could un you can unmute yourself. You can check in and say, hi, my name is Natalie. We're going to start, I think, in about a minute or two once Matt gives me the signal. Um, and then I'll ask me like a little bit of brief questions. You can type it in the chat as well. I'm going to open up my chat box so that I could communicate a little bit better. And if you're already on, uh, if you have any experience with yoga, you could type it in the chat or unmute and let me know what you've tried, what you experienced, things that you like, maybe things that you don't. I'm getting the signal, is that A-OK? -okay? No, that means I have no experience with yoga. You have zero experience with yoga? OK, well, I'll tell you that <laughs> you just breathe and move, if you can understand. OK, I've, I've been breathe doing it my whole move. life. <laughs> Consciously. Yeah. I'm a professional. Um, Good. We'll give it another minute, I think. Well, one more minute. Okay. And then we'll stop. And then how long when the minute when it starts? How long of the session? Do you want me to run? You can do 13 minutes. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll do a brief one. No problem. Oh no, wait. No, you got half an hour, haven't you? Sorry. I got that wrong. Yeah. So you got well, I have 20 minutes past the hour, so let's say until the next minutes. session, so you can go right to the next session. Um, oh, sweet. I just can't can't see the time right now. What it is, so it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, 7:45. Uh, so it's, yeah, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. You got plenty mm -hmm. of time. Okay, great. That's we are ready, I think. So you can start. When are you we want. ready? Okay, cool. So welcome everybody to yoga. My name is Natalie Marnica. I'm a certified yoga therapist and teacher. I've been um, teaching yoga for over 10 years. And uh, for the last few years, I've been working with the HDYO and other organizations to bring yoga for people affected by HD. So if you're practicing today, um, you can have your chair. So like if you're just getting up from your computer, you could stand. You can stand in front of your chair. I want you to give enough space that your arms can do this and your arms can go overhead. So just have a look at your spacing. Do you have room to lift up? Do you have room to move aside? We're not gonna be doing anything up and down from the floor today. Most thing we're gonna be doing is bending forward, but we're gonna play around with some standing um, movements, some breathing, and then we're gonna sit down for some meditation towards the end of the session. If you would like to, uh, unmute yourself and talk and tell me your experience with yoga directly, you can. If you wanna type something in the chat, you can. I'm gonna keep my eye on the chat as well. Let me see where my chat is. Yeah, my chat is open. And you're welcome to keep your video on or off. I'll leave it open, there we go. Tammy's got her space. So yeah, so for those that are coming in, you wanna be able to do this. Can you maximally bring your arms out? Can you reach them up overhead? Good. And then however are, uh, far your arms can go, that's the max that your legs might go. If you have injuries, so maybe you have a little bit of back pain or you have some current injury, I want you to move in a way that doesn't increase that sensation. So if you have some pain or discomfort, you're going to do your best to stay in your pain-free range of motion. That might mean scaling back your movement. That might mean taking a break if I'm offering you something that doesn't seem like it's working well for you. Um, and then at any point you want to rest, just take a little rest. 
What we're going to focus on today is ways to bring your energy up a little bit and then relax in a meditation and kind of reset from being at the computer most of the day and watching all of these uh, presentations. So let's get started. I want you to find a position with your feet either underneath your hips or your shoulders. Okay, so your choice, however you want to set up. Good. Okay, and I'm going to ding this little mindfulness bell. We're going to take a breath in together. So inhale. Good. And then as slow as you can, breathe it out. You're welcome to inhale through the nose, exhale through your nose or your mouth. Let's try that again. Inhale. That's it. Breathe into the present moment. Eyes can be opened or closed. And then exhale completely. Let your arms relax. Then let your legs relax. Very good. Let's do one more time like that. Inhale. Breathe into the present moment. And then exhale anything that's on your mind from the day. Just start to let that stuff go. Good. Now we'll synchronize your movement and your breath if you can. On your next inhale, can you reach and stretch your arms as high as they'll go? That's it. How high can you reach, hold the breath for a moment, and then exhale, float your arms back down? Perfect. Two more like that. Inhale, reach up, stretch through your fingers. If you're more comfortable, you can press your hips a little forward and arc back. And then exhale, float your arms down and relax them beside you. Very good. One more time like that. Inhale, rise up and reach. That's it. Feel the length of your body, stretch and reach it up. And then exhale when you're ready, bring it down. Okay, now the next thing we're going to add is a lift of your heels. So I want you now to focus on one spot that's not moving. When you're ready to inhale, lift your heels off of the ground slightly and stretch your arms up. So now you're starting to feel your balance. Good. And then as you exhale, lower your arms and lower your heels. Very good. Again, like that, inhale, reach up, lift the heels, focus your eyes on one spot, squeeze above your knees. Good. And then exhale, try floating your arms and your heels down at the same time, okay? The descend, the lowering down is the harder of the few. So let's try that again. Inhale, rise and reach. Stretch up as tall as you can make your body. Balance on the balls of your feet. And then exhale, float the arms down, float your heels down. Wonderful, that's it. One more like that. Inhale, rise up and reach. This time, if you're more comfortable, interlace your fingers and flip up through your palms, stretch them up. Good, and then exhale, float the arms down, float your heels down. Amazing, now we'll get into our first forward bend. If you can't reach the floor, you can pause halfway on your chair seat. On the inhale, reach and stretch up. This time the heels are down, reach and stretch your arms. On the exhale, bend at your knees and fold forward. You can pause halfway or you can come down with a soft knee. Good. On the inhale, rise back up, sweep your arms in line with your ears, try to push your feet against the ground as you lift. Good, and then when you're ready to exhale, come back down, soft bend in your knees, release the weight of your neck and head. Notice what the back of your body feels like today. Very good. When you're ready to inhale, rise back up, breathe in, sweep the arms and stretch. That's it, full breath in, keep your neck and head relaxed and then exhale, bring it down. Soft bend in your knees, fold forward, release the weight of your neck and head. Very good. Inhale, rise and reach up. That's it, press the hips forward, arch back. Good, and then exhale, take it down. Soft bend, release the weight of your neck and head. Good. From the forward bend, I want you to place your hands on your legs. And as you inhale, try to stretch your spine out. How long can you make your spine? Good. And then as you exhale, bend your knees and let it fold. Good. Let's do two like that. Inhale. Can you lift halfway? Press against your legs. See how long you can make your back. Good. And then on the exhale, soft bend in your knees. Let it go. Very nice. One more time. 
Inhale, lift halfway. And then exhale, fold forward. Wonderful. Now we're going to come all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, reach and stretch up. Push your feet against the ground. Good. And then on the exhale, float your arms down. Very good. And then once the arms come down, give your shoulders a little shrug. As you inhale, pull them up, pull them back, slide them down. Good. Two more like that. Lift up, back, slide it down. Good. One more time. Up, back, slide it down. Good. And then take a moment. We're going to start to play with a split stance. We're going to work through your warrior one position. So if you can, step forward with one leg and keep the other heel down. Good, very nice, perfect. So have your two hips facing forward. If you have some balance issues, you can stand at the back of your chair and you can use the chair in front of you. Okay, so now the movement here, it's gonna look like this. As you inhale, bend your front knee, sweep and stretch your arms up and open out of the side. Imagine you were opening up all across your chest and then on the exhale, straighten the leg and let it go. Very good, again like that. Inhale, bend your front knee, open up the arms, that's it. Pull them back slightly, take your shoulders off your ears. Good, and then exhale, straighten the leg and let it go. Very good, again like that. Inhale, bend and open up the chest. Good, exhale, straighten and let it go. Great, one more and we're gonna hold it there. So as you inhale, bend, feel the energy in your legs, root your back heel, bend your front knee. Now stretch up with your fingers and then as you exhale, slide your shoulder blades down the back. Good, that's it. We're gonna try to reduce any of this curved posture forward from being on the computer. Inhale up. And then exhale, slide your elbows back. Shoulders are coming down your back, You're trying to hug your elbows to the side of your body. Good, try one more like that. Inhale, rise. Good, and then exhale, pull back. Wonderful. If you're comfortable here, hold. Sweep your hands behind you, either A, interlacing the fingers, or B, capturing your elbows. That's it, good. Allow the front body to open a little bit deeper. Stay for three, stay for two, and then one. Release your hands, push against the floor, step back, shake off your legs. Good, that's it, all right. So these are opening positions for the chest. They're strengthening for the legs. So take your time in them, take a break anytime. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the opposite leg. So the opposite foot, step it forward. Go as wide as you need to to create a base of support. So if you're here and you feel wobbly, go a little bit wider with your front leg. Good. So now again, we're setting up so that we feel stable in the body. Movement looks like this. As you inhale, bend your front knee, reach and stretch, arms open. That's it. Keep pressing your back heel down. As you exhale, straighten and let it go. That's it. Really good. Two more dynamic like that. Inhale, bend, open up the chest, good, and then exhale, straighten, and let it go. Beautiful, good. Again, inhale, make your bend. If you're just jumping on, we're breathing and moving. Right now, we're stretching out the back hip and opening up your chest, so take a time if you're jumping in to meet us whenever you're ready, good. Now we're gonna hold it. We're gonna add some stability for this leg. Inhale, bend the knee, reach up and stretch. On the exhale, slide your shoulder blades down the back. Beautiful, yep. Inhale, reach and stretch. And then exhale, shoulder blades back and down. Good work. Inhale, reach and stretch. And then shoulder blades back and down. Now, if you're comfortable enough to hold this, you're gonna stay here. If it's in your range, sweep your hands behind you, interlace the fingers, roll back on the shoulders and lift. If you can't interlace the hands, you can experiment with keeping the arms wide or capturing the elbows behind you. Good, and then hold it there as you breathe. Any variation that you're in for three. Good job for two. And then one, slowly release the hands, push against the ground, step feet together, march it off. 
Okay, good work. All right. So we just had an influx of people come in. Have some room around you. If you're just entering, make sure you can stretch and reach. Now we're going to get into side bending. If you have the space, open your legs into a wide stance. Yeah. And if you're not used to yoga, we're breathing and moving as much as we can in our pain free range of motion. So now anchor your legs down as you inhale, open your arms, reach them up. Really good. Now on the exhale, bring one arm down to your leg and stretch that other arm up and over. Okay, these postures are really good if you have lower back pain or discomfort. As you inhale, rise up, reach and stretch through your waist. On the exhale, lower the opposite arm down and then reach and stretch to the side wall. Good, that's it. Breath guides your motion. Inhale, lift. Anchor the legs, exhale, stretch. Lower your arm, reach the opposite wall. Good job, that's it. Breathe in and reach up. Good, breathe out, lower the arm, reach and stretch. Good job, now we're gonna hold this last one. Inhale, lift. That's it, take that full breath in. On the exhale, lower your arm, now reach and stretch to your side. If it's in your range, you're gonna hold here. Now inhale into the side of your body. And then as you exhale, reach your fingers a bit more, drag that bottom arm down. Good, again, inhale into your side. And then exhale, reach and stretch. That's it, good. One more time on this side. Breathe into your side body. And then exhale, reach and stretch for it. Reach for the other wall. As you inhale, climb up. Interlace the fingers if it's in your range and flip up through your palms. Good, as you exhale, float your arms down and give your shoulders a shrug off. That's it, we'll take a little reset between sides. That's wonderful, good. And then try the other side, okay? So feet are anchored, inhale brings your arms up. So sweep the arms, take your full breath. Wonderful, then lower opposite arm down and then reach and stretch to the other side wall. Okay, now this time we hold here. Can you inhale into the side of your body? And then as you exhale, can you reach and stretch through your fingers? Perfect, two like that. Breathe into your side body. And then exhale, reach and stretch over. That's it, good. One more time. Breathe in. And then exhale, reach and stretch over. Good. On the inhale, climb up, bring both arms up. Interlace the hands if that's in your range and flip them up. And then exhale the arms down. Good, roll your shoulders a little bit. Come up, back and down. Good, maybe the other way a few times. Good. Very nice, wonderful. So now we've moved the spine forward back, up and down, side to side. Now we're gonna play around with the movement in your hips. So if you're still in the open leg position, stay there, put your hands on your hip creases, turn one of your feet away from you. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn one foot out. Doesn't matter what side you wanna start on. Good, and then take a breath in here, get tall. On the exhale, bend your front hip and knee and just see what that feels like. Good. Inhale to rise and then exhale, bend and see. So the back leg is staying straight and you're bringing this front knee into a bend if you can. Good, again, inhale to rise and then exhale, we bring a bend into the knee. Okay, now if you can hold this with the knee bent, this is called warrior two position, hold it. If you need to come in and out dynamically, keep doing that variation. If you wanna feel more muscle activation, take your front hand, bring it behind, the middle of your leg on the top, and then press your leg into the hand a little bit. At the same time, reach the opposite arm back behind you and rotate your trunk. Yeah, good job. Inhale here, exhale, make the bend. Wonderful. So again, this is a slightly challenging posture if you're new. If you're experienced, working all the muscle engagement might be new as well for you. So breathe in, breathe out, okay? These muscles are really helpful. If you're sit, spending long time sitting, you wanna activate your glutes and activate the external rotators at your hip. Good. And then inhale, rise up. Exhale, turn your toe forward. And then if you feel like it, you can sway from one side to the other and just get some free movement in the hips. Feel it out. Do you have balance to go from one side to the other side? Good, three, 
two, one, and then we'll come back up. Perfect. Try the other leg. What happens when you rotate the other toe out? Okay, as you inhale, get tall. On the exhale, make a bend to your front hip and knees. See what it feels like. Good. Inhale, stretch it. Exhale, bend and see what it feels like. That's it. So you're testing the first couple repetitions. You're seeing how does my body feel? Does it feel like I can go longer in my stance? Shorter? Do I feel stable or unstable? And then hold it on your next repetition. If you want more engagement along this back leg, you want to feel a little bit more work, take your front hand, bring it behind the middle of your leg, press your leg against the hand, root the other leg, and then spiral your arm back. That's it. So you're tall, your hip is open, you're sinking down, and you're trying to breathe. That's it. Feel your breath, feel the work in the legs. Good. Two. That's it. Upper thigh, keep rotating it away. One. Awesome. Okay, now inhale, straighten. Spiral your toes forward as you inhale, reach up for the ceiling. And then if it's in your range, we're going to exhale and bend forward. So your knees can bend as much as you need. If you have your chair in front of you, you can rest your hands down. If you can get to the floor, feel free to get to the floor and just shake out your neck and head a little bit. Again, if you need to keep the knees soft, keep them soft. If you want to have your hands on a support, keep your hands on the support, whether it's a stool or a bed or a bench. And just let the back of your body stretch. For those that are more comfortable here, you can walk to one leg and try to pull it. You can walk to the other side and try to pull it. You can feel what it's like in the back. Maybe you want to rotate a little bit. That's it. So give yourself some free movement here. Maybe you want to just hang out with your arms and sway like a pendulum or bounce, that's it. Work with your body, change its shape. If you wanna bend and sway, if you wanna lean with or without your hands, just give yourself some free intuitive movement. Good. Full breath in, long and smooth breath out. Good. And then pause in your center position. Put your hands onto your hip crease. Elbows face the ceiling. As you inhale, rise up. Good. And then as you exhale, shrug it off. Walk, step, or hop your feet together. And just shake it off a little. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Now from here, we're going to take one balance pose. And then we're going to hit the chair and do some breathing and meditating. So if you need support, you can hold the back of a chair. You can hold the wall. You can hold anything that's around you. I want you to start by lifting. Take your body weight to one leg and then see if the other leg can lift up. So right now I'm lifting my heel up. I'm on my ball of foot. And then I'm going to try to lift my knee all the way up. Fixate your eyes on one spot that's not moving. I'm going to pivot so you can see a little clearer. If you're comfortable here, you can step the leg back down. Bring it behind you. Refocus your eyes. And then inhale, lift the leg up. And then exhale, bring it down. Good. Come to center, inhale your knee up. Exhale it down. Feel what's happening in your eyes and in your body. Use the supports where you need it. Inhale, leg back. And then exhale the leg to center. Good. So now try that at your own pace. We're going to do the same movements again. And just see how stable am I? Can I lift one leg? Can I hold my body up? Can I tap the leg? And then can I lift it behind me? Good. And if you want to go deeper, you can bring your body down and the arms up. If you want to go deeper here, you can lift the leg and kick it. So again, stay wherever you need to, even if it's just tapping in front and tapping behind. If you have a bigger movement available, explore it. Can I balance on one leg? Full breath in. Smooth breath out, full breath in, and then smooth breath out. If you're advancing it, feel free to take your advancements. Reach, that's it. And then return. Good. And then when you're ready to switch legs, release the bottom leg, shake out your standing leg. You can move your ankle a little bit. Let that go. Good. And then we'll start the other side. So again, I'm gonna turn so you can see it a bit clearer. 
eyes focus one spot that's not moving. If you need your support, keep them there. And then again, play around. What happens when you tap in front, tap behind, in front, behind. Maybe the knee comes up today. Maybe the leg goes back today. So just feel it out with your breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Doesn't need to be perfect. You can be wobbly. Just start to feel what's happening. Notice where the mind is when you balance. Tends to be right in the moment, paying attention not worried about the future, not thinking about the past, just being here now. Can I lift my leg? Can I lower my leg? Can it come in front and behind? Now, if you're a little bit more um, comfortable and you're able to do it, feel free to bring your body down and your leg up. Kick the leg back, open up the arms. And then out in front of you can keep the leg back or you can extend it. Play around with your balance, breathing in smooth and steady, Breathing out, smooth and steady. That's it, try a couple more. Take a break if you need it. It's a lot of work on one leg. Good. And then when you're ready to take the leg down and stomp it out a little bit. Good job, that's wonderful. Okay, good. Now inhale, reach and stretch your arms up. Good, and then exhale, forward bend. You can do soft bend in your knees. You can pause halfway on your seat or go all the way down if you can. Very nice, shake out your neck and head. Inhale, lift halfway up, push against the lower legs, get long in your back, and then exhale, let it go. Good, two like that. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, let it go. Good, again, inhale, halfway. And exhale, let it go. Good. As you inhale, rise up and reach. And then exhale, bring it down. Good. And then roll the shoulders a little bit. Okay. Now have a seat into your chair or on the floor. So whatever you're choosing to use, I'm going to use this little chair. Have a seat down onto it. If you're sitting on the ground, just have your hips or your lower half supported so your spine is upright. Good, and then take a full breath in. See how tall you can make your spine on this chair. Okay, and then as slow as you can, let your breath out. Good, eyes can close up, adjust your arms and your legs that you could be at ease. Breathe in through your nose. Okay, now as slow as you can, breathe through your mouth. Very good. Again, in through your nose. Okay, as slow as you can, breathe out. And start to let your arms relax. Start to let your legs relax. Can you continuously make your exhales a little bit longer? And allow your inhale to happen naturally. Can you breathe into your ankles, your knees, and your feet? And as you exhale, can you relax your knees, your ankles, and your feet? Again, breathe in, knees, ankles, feet. And then as slow as you can, exhale, knees, ankles, feet. Let the muscle tissue soften. Good. Can you breathe in to your upper legs, your hips, and your low back? Can you feel that area of your body as you're paying attention to it? And then as you exhale, can you relax low back, hips, and upper legs? Good. Try again. Can you breathe in? upper thighs, hips, and low back. And then slow as you can, can you relax low back, hips, 
and upper legs. Good, try your shoulders and your spine. Can you inhale up your spine? Through the middle back, through your shoulders. And then as you exhale, can you soften your shoulders and the muscles along your back? That's it. Bring the awareness to these parts of your bodies. Actively ask them to relax as you breathe out. And you inhale to your shoulders, upper spine and upper back. And then can you exhale, relax your shoulders along your spine. Just start to let all that muscle tissue, just start to let it go a little bit. Good. Can you inhale to your wrists, your elbows and upper arms? And as you exhale, can you relax your upper arms, your elbows, your wrists and your palms? Good, inhale through the hands, the wrists and the upper arms. And then exhale, give that part of your body permission to relax, just let it drop down as you breathe out. Okay, and now into the top of the head. When you're ready to inhale, can you breathe into the top of your skull? And then as you exhale, can you relax from your head all the way down to your toes? Good. Two more like that. Breathe into the top of the head. And then exhale, let your body relax. Face, neck, shoulders, arms, legs. Okay, one more big breath like that. Inhale. And then exhale, let it go. Okay, and then keep your eyes relaxed just for a few more moments and allow your natural breath just to come back to your body. Without controlling the breath, without controlling the body. Just let the breath move in and out. And you might notice thoughts or sensations or feelings rising and falling. Just let everything be there. Observe your breath as it comes in and out. That's it. Can you let the weight of your body drop? Very nice. And then from here, can you allow your hands to meet into a prayer position in the center of your chest? Can you allow yourself to think of at least one thing you have in this moment to be grateful for today? One is the minimum. There is no max. Just breathe it in. What are you grateful for in this moment? Whether it's a picture in your head, a word, a sensation, a memory. Breathe it in and then exhale, let it go. Good. And then rub the hands, begin to build some warmth. Cover over your eyes, block some of the light that's inside the room that comes from looking at the screen. And allow your eyes to open gently inside your hands. And then pull the hands down into the center of your chest. Very good. Inhale here. And as you exhale, bow to your own effort. Thank yourselves for being here today. And thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Matt, for having me. If you have questions, you can type them in the chat or unmute yourself. Questions, comments, feedback, anything. I'm open to it. Thank you guys so much for being here. That was wonderful. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so we've got, uh, that was really good. Well done. Thank you so Doing much. Good job, everybody. myself.
<laughs> um, so we've got now, uh, we've got two Q&A sessions. So on track one, we've got uh, Dr. Bonnie Hennig talking about talking with children about HD. And we've got Gillian Foster talking about managing behavioral symptoms on track two. Uh, once again, wonderful yoga, Natalie, thank you. Appreciate your support as always. And hope everyone enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time. Uh, Natalie, do you want to you want to leave an email or something? Sure. You can contact me at info at smyoga.ca. I'll type it in the chat if you have questions or feedback or you want to follow online. I also have a YouTube channel. Just Google Natalie Marnica on YouTube. Oh, that's to Maddie. That's not to everybody. Hold on. <laughs> Let me type it in really quickly. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, and keep breathing, keep moving, reduce your stress levels, move every day, and uh, keep yourselves well. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the next sessions. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you, Nat. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Thanks, Matt.